point of view to uh, to try to actually like be more uh, confident and uh, uh, and solve as much as possible. Uh, 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 I cannot solve a uh, uh, couple of them, but uh, there is a couple of area where I need to uh, to improve a lot. So. Yeah, same for me. Um, yeah, I want to just get the pr practice with uh, with friends and uh, also uh, yeah, friends on my prem and uh, yeah, just want to improve my communication skill also my problem solving skill. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm the first to uh, to be interviewed, right? Yeah, th yeah, this is yours. Yeah, uh, okay. Feel so, free to uh, uh, jump in. Let Let me just take some time to actually read the prompt. Uh, I look like a big one, so uh, so shortest seller pass um, in a given grid of zero and one. We have some starting row and colon and targeted row and colon TRTC. Return the length of the source to pass from the insert one value. So each location in the past included the start and the end, and the second location in the past must be the first location. All right, and the starting in time. Mm, let's see. Mm. So uh, let me understand the input uh, and, uh, and the output. So, so we do have this matrix uh, that actually represent that. Uh, so, uh, S, uh, 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 so it stands for the starting row and starting colon. So, uh, so we start to zero, zero. And then uh, the target row will be to, uh, uh, targeted row two, uh, so and colon zero, so it's going to be uh, going to be here, and output is eight. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm just trying to actually figure out why the output is eight here. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, eight means basically how many steps you walk. Yeah, so I need to go from, uh, so let's actually uh, do that and then. Uh, Uh, so this is so zero one two three and here I will be two one and two so So with uh, S R equals zero and uh, S C equals zero and T R equals two and T C equals two. So so we need to go from this point zero zero to uh, to this point. Yes. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm not sure why they mention. Oh, uh, so the zero represent war, and I need to actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it that? Uh, yeah. So basically, you are starting from here, right? You see my, you must my mouse. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I see your cursor, so it's actually in green. Uh, so yeah, I yeah. Need to... in my cursor. So you go here, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that, yeah. So was, I, I cannot cross because there is zero. Uh, yeah. All right. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, uh, so it looks like the zero are kind of warm, uh, and I need to actually like uh, 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 to go over. Okay. Uh, I I didn't got that uh, at the beginning. So, uh, each location in the passing yeah. building at the end must be one. Each subsequent must be okay. It is great. Uh, so if the stack is possible impossible so uh let's see for this one so we are here a uh, zero zero and we need to go there and it's not possible because uh because z there is a o uh, zero here uh that actually made it uh, made, made it impossible uh all right, interesting. Uh, so uh, let's come up with, with an approach. So uh, with an algorithm. Uh, uh, so um, I need to actually. Uh, uh, so first, uh, when I'm in a cell, uh, I need to check uh, uh, my uh, uh, my neighbor. Uh, so, uh, for example, when I'm in zero, zero, uh, actually, I, 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 I need to check, uh, so, uh, uh, the fact that, uh, I know that there is no, uh, uh, no, uh, no pass on, on the left, uh, and up, uh, so I need to check, uh, Check uh, right uh, or down. Uh, if uh, down equal equal uh, zero, uh, then uh, actually uh, I um, I have a direction uh, uh, that I'm gonna gonna set. Uh, uh, my direction gonna be uh, uh, x plus one. Uh, uh, let's see. I have a direction x, x, y. So it looks like it's something like a pass fending. So, but I don't think uh, they want me to implement something like a star or something. Uh, so I uh, uh, just need to uh, to figure out. Um, so my my. If the cell uh, close to to the point where I am uh, uh, at zero, uh, then I mean uh, I cannot go in this direction, uh, and I need to follow the cell where uh, where I do have one. Uh, so um, uh, actually, it's not done. It's uh, position next position next position. Uh, yeah, let me know if you need help or hint for me. Uh, yeah, I, I did understand uh, uh, all I need to do that, uh, but uh, now trying to actually conceptualize uh, 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 with pseudocode, uh, oh, I'm going to do that. Uh, uh, so for the grid, uh, in Python, it's going to be an array of array. Uh, uh, then I'm going to have the, the, the an index uh, row and an index colon, uh, uh, and uh, and then I need to traverse uh, my uh, my uh, array until I find one uh, uh, in my next position. Um, uh, of course, I need to take care of the bound, uh, so the size of the of the row uh, and the colon. Uh, uh, so, uh, what? So, all as uh, a valid location grid. And, yeah. Let's see. Okay, and the integral. Uh, uh, 
Okay, so let's actually uh, start to uh, to call that. Um, uh, let me let me ask you a question. To maybe it can help potentially. So, what kind of algorithm, like uh, is a graph or uh, a stack or queue? Maybe helpful, or even like a uh, BFS, DFS. So those kind of uh, method or algorithm is typically used in use in oh, maze, right? Yeah, that's that, that, that's that's a maze. That, that, that's a uh, an algorithm of a maze. Uh, and here I do have a matrix. So uh, so it's gonna be graph. Uh, uh, and what I need to do, uh, it's actually to uh, to traverse each cell uh, uh, and uh, M to a position. And here, the graph is actually given as a adjacency matrix. So I can reuse the matrix. Uh, uh, I, know, uh, I, I know that, but I'm not very comfortable with graph theory. Uh, uh, so uh, I'll actually, I see uh, uh, what I can do. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, another question is uh, uh, between BFS, the breadth first search, and the DFS, which is the depth first search, which one would you prefer? Uh, in this case, uh, so the difference is uh, uh, so the, the depth is actually, uh, um, uh, if I figure out uh, uh, what the difference is, the, the, the depth is actually. Um, go in depth for each neighbor all the time uh, and it doesn't need a queue to memorize if it's visited or not compared to the bfs uh, so uh, i think uh, with this case uh, it's going to be a dfs a depth first search uh, and, I, and i and i need to verify uh, for example uh, up down left or right uh, and see if I do have a zero, uh, then I can actually go to something else. So I think let, let me let me illustrate my point to you on this example. Uh, so let's say if I have a simple example, you can see my 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 thing, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's say if if your starting point is here, okay, and then your end point is here, okay. Yeah. So you want go go from here to here. Right, so what a what a what a breath first search does is to try different layers, right? So you try this guy and then this guy and then these three guys and then you found it. However, is say if a DFS you go to one of the maybe go from here and then go here and then go here. So that's one of the ways. Or it can go from here to here to here. So it depends on it depends on which direction you want to try and then you will go go to the depth go to the bottom of it however for bfs you try different layers right so the first layer is right here second layer is right here yeah so the third layer is right here so and then you can when you when you explore the layers you kind of find that is the one that takes the the minimum amount of layers can get you to the bottom goal There's, Am I making sense to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, uh, so, uh, so in order to find the minimum pass and the shortest pass, uh, BFS will be better because I don't need to actually visit each cell uh, in the matrix. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, That's what I wanted to get it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so. Uh, so let me actually figure out uh, uh, to remind me uh, or actually uh, implement something like that. Uh, yes, yes. And it, this is nothing tricky. I mean, it's just a regular BFS and then you implement that and get your four point. Okay, so uh, for example, for, uh, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, so S, uh, it's actually starting row. Uh, I just need, uh, an index for row in range uh, zero uh, uh, 
actually Morsicals land of uh, and the grid and core, core land uh, grid zero. I'm just set up my data structure for the matrix and to actually uh, have the uh, uh, the two the two loop uh, to actually iterate uh, with a uh, uh, row and column uh, uh, here. So uh, just actually uh, let's see for core. Uh, if a uh, grid the wall and call let's see Is there like uh, needed to actually mark some uh, some some uh, vertex like visited? Uh, uh, I I totally forgot BFS honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, let's, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so so. Um, yeah, you can mark it, or you can use a set to keep track of uh, what of point that you have visited. So, I mean, you can, I mean, now in this grid, right, it's only between zero and one. You can mark it as a negative one. That means that you are marked already, you have been visited already. Or you can use a set to keep track of the coordinate that you've been through, right? And, oh. um, yeah, so, so typically, yeah, so typically for a BFS, right? So you need a uh, something like a queue, right? You need a queue. Um, because if I remember, uh, 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 so uh, uh, so the queue actually uh, gonna contain every uh, uh, first layer neighbor uh, from my vertex. Uh, 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 if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, it's exactly. So, yeah, the, the queue like go by layers to layer. Yeah, layer by layer. So in the first layer, I'm going to have, for example, uh, at this point, uh, I'm going to have this vertex, uh, this here, uh, and this here uh, in, in, in my queue. Uh, uh, then, uh, then why? Yeah, it goes uh, like this. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Exactly. You need a uh, because for us, B, uh, DFS the depth first search you need a stack. But this case you need the BFS the breadth first search. That's why you may need a queue to keep track of the coordinate. Yeah, I think uh, uh, I'm just gonna BFS. Uh, oh, okay, so here actually, uh, uh, let's see, I can actually uh, have a, a function uh, that's going to say uh, um, def uh, move uh, and you're going to take uh metric row or x y and this is gonna actually have a, a forgot, I totally forgot that uh, so uh um uh, so and the queue it's actually I need to uh So the, uh, if I remember, uh, the queue it's actually in in Python it's it's in a specific import. Uh, 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 
Yeah, it's no, uh, the Q. Actually, you can, can just import Q. Yeah, you can just yeah, you can do that, or you can just use a list, and then you pop from the front. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, uh, yeah, I, mean, I can. Yeah, I, I, I can yeah, you, list yeah, and and uh, I remove the uh, the last element all the time. So uh, yeah, we'll when see. you use pop, you always always you uh, pop the last guy, but you can pop to the front. If you pop from the front, that's a queue, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, I don't know if Python for the list has. Uh, I know that there is pop function, but uh, I don't know if there is. Uh, Left pop or right pop? I, I know that uh, the 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 DQ yeah, has that. Huh? Yeah, the 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 DQ can do that, or you can use yeah. this something like this. Pop from the zero index. Oh, okay, yeah. Huh? Yeah, this one can will pop left all the time. Okay. Uh... Mm, I'm a little bit lost here, so um, let's see. So if uh, I need to actually move, move uh, more call, and here I need to actually move. Uh, Plus one. I then the Q. So my current position uh, and I'm um, going to be Q dot pop zero. My current rule and my current uh, R. So it's actually um, actually what I'm gonna push here. Uh, I need to have a uh, in my queue. Uh, uh, um, I need to have a, uh, my starting point. So I need. Uh, I need to have a, a, a something where I um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, and if I do if uh, matrix the role the current row and current call. It's been a while I didn't do graph. Uh -huh. uh, equal equal one. Uh, then I mean uh, I need to uh, uh, continue traverse until I find one. I find one. Uh, And uh, when I find one, I can actually mark it as visited. Uh, uh. Yeah. Also, you can um, put it put it to the queue, so you can uh, do it again. Uh, um. Uh, uh, I'm not very fresh on the on the BFS uh, algorithm, so I'm trying to. Uh, Find it again from my memory, but uh, that's actually very difficult. Uh, 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 so uh, see. So, what, what kind of support that you need for me? So, when I find how, one. How, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, when I found one here, uh, 
So that means that uh, actually, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, let's see uh, this uh, and this. So uh, it means that uh, uh, I need to actually add uh, uh, to the queue uh, uh, the next uh, next vertex uh, uh, on the uh, on the row, but the next row. So, uh, so I need to actually uh, Q dot push. Uh, yeah, so exactly. This one uh, uh, and current call. Uh, uh, and I'm storing. Uh, uh, I, uh, in the queue, I actually store a tupper, uh, which is x y. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. You want to append, append it to um, to uh, the queue. Right. So append. And also, yeah. Also, it can it can go any direction. You can go to the row direction, column direction, minus or plus one. Right. So you have four directions to go. Possible directions, and, oh, okay. and yeah, I see, I see. Cue that happen. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, and then another thing is, uh, before you can go to the next direction, and yeah, and then you can check, like you can, some checking to see if that's in the boundary. Is that is a zero or one? Right? Is it walkable or not walkable? Something like that. Yeah, something I would consider. Right. So, uh, some checking that I would do. Yeah. So if uh uh, plus one uh is uh uh, and then uh uh actually I I don't need len because I do have row uh uh. Oh, and uh, no, what I'm doing, uh, yeah, no, uh, so and uh, run core plus one, uh, a core, then I know that I'm in my bound, uh, uh, uh and I can actually do, do that, uh, uh. There is probably a clever way of doing it. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, I can do something. Uh, 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 let's actually, uh, let me do uh, if, uh, push if valid uh, the queue. The row, the core, the x and y, and I'm going to do uh, if x uh, zero and x inferior are row uh, and y equal to zero and y. So if I'm in my bond, uh, then uh, I can actually. Uh, Q dot append uh, uh, my x and y, and here I'm gonna call. Uh, that looks better. Uh huh. Uh, and I remove that, and I put that. that. Okay. Uh, so here actually I'm visiting. Uh, uh, let's see if I actually got it. Right, so uh, uh, it's actually uh, uh, no, actually, I didn't get that right. So, minus, yeah, one. minus one, yeah, and then uh, x minus one, and then x one, y, and then press y. Okay, so that means that uh. Left, right, uh, down, uh, up. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's the, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, and here uh, I'm in my bound, so uh, uh, so there is uh, no problem here. Uh, uh, and somehow I need to mark uh, visited uh, 
uh, my my current vertex, right? So I can do a uh, matrix the current row and current call equal minus one, as you mentioned, uh, to actually mark it visited. Uh, mark it visited. Uh, and from there, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, if not zero, then I can move. Uh, uh, so I need to actually count uh, the number of uh, step. I forgot that. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, and the and the step zero. Uh, uh, and uh, each time can be plus one. Then here, yeah, actually, uh, this is wrong. If you should do that, so I need to pass the the size. And the uh, and the position. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. And uh, and here uh, at the end, I need to return the number of step. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, there is something that I actually uh, missed. So uh, you told me to. Uh... Oh, okay. And uh, I think I'm not in. Uh, actually, I can use my already visited set. And if it's not the case, then I can actually add it. Uh, it's added for a set, right? Yeah, you can you can do it away. Uh, you could, you're gonna give you the same result. Sorry. Yeah, you can do you can do either the set or you can mark a negative one. It's gonna yeah, it's it's doing the same thing. Yeah, so I think it's better it's better it it, it it's it's better with the with the set uh, uh because I actually I created the set here so uh okay so uh I think uh, let's see if I miss something uh uh. uh yeah, I think I miss something. Yeah, the number of the number of steps should be each part time of I... the. Yeah, exactly. Each time when you so when you move, actually, the number of steps should be a property of sort of the coordinate. So you come with the coordinate. It's not a global. It's I don't think it's a global variable. So it should be specific. End step which should be specific to the point that you, you oh. also yeah 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 but uh uh the coordinates that actually I have in input it's tr and tc here so so my result yeah, that, according to tr and tc yeah that's the terminal condition right that's that's, that's where you exit right so yeah exactly so this tr and tc this is where you exit. And also the end step should be a property of the coordinate, right? So it is it's a different for I mean end step will be different for different coordinate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is two things that is uh so uh do you think uh I should actually store it in the map uh with uh uh like for key uh the double x y? Can you say that again? What, 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 what do you mean? Uh, you, you mentioned that the, the number of steps is actually uh, according to a position, right? To a coordinate. Uh, so, so that means that uh, you could have multiple number of steps uh, for different coordinates. Uh, I just need to, if. Uh, no, 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 no multiple positions. It should be one, one step for one, one coordinate. One step for one coordinate. Yeah. And. And just TC or K. 
hardcore, then actually I can break uh, because uh, I finish to uh, to find my uh, my destination. Uh, 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 somehow I need to stop uh, when I find my destination, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, so my destination is uh, uh, when my current pro uh, has reached TR uh, and my current core has reached. Uh, Actually, this one actually go over there. Oh, oh. So, uh, I think that's the global idea. I, 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 I probably uh, will actually. Uh, um, do Do you think? Yeah, can you see if I actually miss something, uh, um, uh, or maybe uh, something that I totally uh, didn't get right? Uh, well, in, in the in a general sense, uh, you get what is a BFS, and also, um, yeah. But this for loop, I don't think is necessary. Actually, these two for these two for loops. Um, it we can do it um yeah i think i i would brush off the concept of uh, the bfs uh but i think you only need this i i know i don't think you only need this the 50 line 57 and 67 that can get you going but you get the big concept already correct uh but this two yeah. for loop yeah so basically yeah, you need that you want I I need to move in the in the grid somehow, right? So so uh, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. So so yeah. So the way to move through the grid is to, for example, if you scroll up, right? You see the example, right? So you're starting from here, right? So that's your starting point. Yeah. And then and then the next starting point will be either here or here, right? But here you cannot go. So we, this point is not valid. So you must you must go here. And then this will push to the queue, right? So for example, you have the first coordinate. The next one you push to the queue. And then after that, you push to the next one to the queue, right? So this will be a for loop. So you not necessarily have to traverse the entire grid. Does it make sense? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, so... I mean, in a, in a big picture, you got it correct. But you just have, you, uh, yeah, you, I think you're a little bit like over-engineered. Um, but but in the big concept, you, if you simplify the code a little bit, you can get it going. Okay. Uh, uh, so in terms of time complexity, uh, uh, so uh, so that's actually the number uh, uh, of I need to actually uh, visit uh, worst case uh, uh, all the all the vertex. Uh, so uh so for time uh, the complexity gonna be uh uh all the v uh with v uh the number of vertex uh in the graph uh and for space uh uh i'm using uh extra space because i'm using the q uh uh and the q uh uh, uh I think it's something uh, V plus E, if I remember, uh, 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 the number of vertex plus uh, the number of H. Uh, uh, oh, I, I forgot. Uh, I forgot the space uh, for for the BFS. So, uh, uh, yeah, there there are two there are two places that you use the space. One is the the Q. The Q another yeah. one is your yeah. Another one is your width that set. Oh yeah, the set. Yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, so in a in a worst case scenario, what what would what would you get? So uh, in the worst case scenario, uh, uh, so that means that uh, 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 my Q, my Q uh, uh, 
I'm going to have the uh, number of edge, uh, 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 the number of edge uh, as a size uh, for a given vertex. Uh, and I need to actually uh, uh, visit, uh, oh, I forgot that. Uh, uh, yeah, in the worst case will be all the coordinate will be number of coordinates. So we yeah. will exactly the time. So it's going to be the, the, the number of, vert of vertex uh, because I need to actually visit all of them uh, uh, and the set because I need to actually visit them. Uh, 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 I will have all the vertexes uh, uh, into the into the set. So so the space will will be also uh, O de V. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, and uh, and I think my Q is growing. Uh, uh, it's not dominant compared to uh, to my set, so I can actually uh, say that uh, 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 that's the number of vertex that I'm going to have in my set, uh, and asymptotically, it's going to be uh, O de V. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, all right. Uh, I think uh, there is. I didn't get any everything right, uh, so I'm just trying uh, to run code if I actually have typo and fix them. Uh, uh, so let's see, and then uh, uh, short pass. Yeah. Yeah, I and think I think you. Yeah, you're also running out of time as well. Um, but but I, I get that you you get a picture though. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, take it again and actually uh, uh, do it offline and uh, and properly finish uh, because. Uh, uh, yeah, I would suggest to you to like look at the solution and then try to make sense of it, and then it's not that bad to understand the solution. I'm just uh, fixing the the indentation here, and then we can swap roll. Huh? Uh, okay, let's. And the fourth, uh, okay, this is four. four. This is four. four. Okay, uh, I should be able to run. Four. Yeah, I, I would suggest you to like, yeah, after the session, you can just, yeah, look at yeah, the yeah. solution. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But 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 you understand that I I I'm I I'm I'm happy to see that you understand the big picture. Just small small modification on your code. I think you can get you going. Yeah, and I'm also uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, the way of not using the two loops uh, to be more efficient. So thank you very much for the end. Uh, uh, all right, uh, I think we can actually swap role. So uh, uh, that's my turn. <laughs> when shall you? Okay. Oh. This yeah, this one is actually very straightforward. So, uh, uh, so uh, I'll, I'll let you time to actually read the prompt and. Uh, uh, okay, let's see what I got. Validate IP addresses. It's That's the kind of exercise that I prefer. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so um, I think. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. I think. Uh, I think yeah, yeah. I just want to walk walk through with you first. So, basically, I need to have a uh, IP to be split, right? Split by uh, by the dot, right? So after that, I'm I, all I'll be getting will be uh, let's say IP array, right? So. We'll be getting something looks like this. So um, something looks like an array. For example, uh, in this case, it's four, twelve, thirty-four, five, and six. Yeah. And then, um, and then what I'm gonna do? Yeah. So also there's some boundary. So basically, the number inside should be uh, each number. Each number should be between. Between uh, zero and uh, two five five. Yeah, and also and, uh, uh, 
So you have uh, are those are constraints to validate. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Also, it must be an integer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I think they check that first. Must be, yeah, must be integer, and uh, and that's it. I think. Uh, I think that's a good approach. So just uh, go and call it up, and uh, and there is also a, a, a second phase uh, in this uh, uh, in this question that I'm going to ask you later. But I think uh, that's a good approach. So you can just. Uh, Go ahead and cut it up. Okay, 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 thank you. Um, so first I need to IP, all right, is equal to uh, IP dot split, split by the dot. And, uh, and now I'm getting so for uh, each the component, I uh, saw so com component. And and in in the IP array, so um, if the component is not equal to the type, uh, the type is is not equal to the integer, and then return false. And uh, yeah, so and also if um, so now it's the components and also take the integer of it now and can convert to the integer. If that is less than less than zero or is greater than two five five, and then I have to return the false as well. And then at the end, uh, return true. I think, yeah, this is how we would do it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, if you actually think uh, uh, about uh, something about uh, what is an IP address, uh, 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 because uh, here uh, with uh, your thing, uh, uh, if I actually uh, do that, one, 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 it's going to be a valid IP address with your code, and it's actually not. Oh, yeah, right. So we have point. So if the length, the length of uh, the IP array is greater than four, not it's not equal to four. It has four as well. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Uh, all right. Uh, uh, do you want to test uh, to test it? Uh, I I think this probably has some bug. Uh, yeah, I, I I I'm not I'm not gonna waste the time to debug it. But in a real interview, I will run it mentally. I would prefer to like do a dry run. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so that's uh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I will do the debug. I, I will do the debugging after this, this section. So this so this is the IP. IP equals to this, and then the IP array after the splitting after here will be equal to um something looks like this. So twelve, thirty four, five and six. So and then I'm checking the length, and then each of the component. The first component is twelve, and twelve is a integer. So this live code is not being executed. Also, the between the range on uh, between zero and two five five, so it's okay. So it's basically keep looping through all the integer, right? And then you return a two. So yeah, this is how I would do it. And uh, for time complexity, would be um, the splitting. The splitting will take a uh, big O of n. It's a big O of n. And being number of uh, characters, right? So basically, have to scan through the entire array and then find a dot, right? Yeah. And then, but uh, actually, uh, if you realize uh, uh, an IP address are only all the time 
just uh, four components. So it's going to be order four. So it's actually constant time. Yes, yes. Yeah, so in this case, in here will be BO4. BO4. Yeah. Because only four components. Because otherwise, I mean, if this is not four, it's captured by this line already. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so at the end, uh, that's actually a time complexity with this constant. So, uh, so uh, uh, something uh, with this problem. Uh, so there is uh, uh, two other questions uh, that actually uh, uh, that I'm actually uh, going to ask you. Uh, uh, an IP is not valid if actually as uh, 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 it has uh, a leading zero. But oh, okay. Is actually valid. So, uh, is there uh, any way to actually change your algorithms to satisfy uh, the new constraint? Oh, okay. So here, it, this the fourteen. This is okay. So this is not valid, and this is okay, right? Yeah. And and uh, we can what we can do is uh, if IPAR is zero and uh, if the second component of is uh hang on no no uh, if um yeah if if this number is equal to zero no uh if not equal to zero or any number, right? So uh, two or third, and then we turn the false. Ha <laughs> I'm not sure that makes sense, though. I think. Uh, well, I, yeah, I, that's. I, I that's kind of a weird, uh, weird way of doing it. Uh, so what you can do is actually uh, to uh, test the length of your IP array, uh, uh, the zero. Uh, and uh, if it's actually uh, 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 not one and IP uh, in Python, you could use the start with, uh, start with and then zero, uh, then you got your condition. Uh, does it make sense? Let me see. Let me let me understand. So if the length, if the length, the length of the okay, yeah, if the length is not okay. Um, it's not equal to one, and also, so in this case, is return false or true? Oh, sorry. Uh, I you put it in. Uh, you highlight it, and I I cannot read it again. So, uh, uh, so uh, so here you're gonna check that uh, uh, you don't have a leading zero uh, uh, for the first character. Okay. Okay. I don't have. Okay. So that, that's another way of actually uh, doing it. Also, uh, something you could do uh, here, uh, instead of doing that uh, uh, for your component, uh, there is a Python method. It's called uh, is digit. It actually uh, return uh, if it's a number or not. OK. OK. Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, it's a check the type of. Uh... The given, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, that's good to know. Huh? All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, do you want to actually uh, uh, test with the the the, the like uh, a case that we didn't cover, like with the oops, uh, the one, two, three, the false, false, false input? Uh, yeah, we can do that, and uh, we can we can try this guy. So. Uh, uh th this one right yeah one one two three four five six oops so after after the splitting what we will get is uh one two three four five six and oops and everything actually is biased this actually is as a string 
Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I you need to convert it uh, here uh, uh, as as actually you did. Uh, uh. So. Uh, all right. Uh, you're gonna actually end up uh, in the line 29, uh, and then you're gonna return uh, return fourth. Uh, so for the last question. Uh, uh, so imagine that you don't have a split method. Could you implement your own split? Without using a split? Yeah. Uh, imagine that you don't have access to the split method in Python. Can you implement your own uh, split? Oh, implement my own split. OK, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think it's possible. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, can, I, I can. Yeah, it's actually yeah, part of, 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 of the question. Uh, to go to go further because uh, you actually did it, uh, uh, but it's very straightforward. Actually, uh, you uh, it's just it's just an interesting way to uh, figure out, uh, or, or you can do it without using built-in uh, functions. So yeah. So let's say if I have a uh, I call it my split, right? You see that, right? On uh, line number three. So I have a uh, given string. Right, and so I need a uh, my array equal to empty. Yeah. So uh, for co character in given string, if uh, okay, also I need to have a splitter. Yeah, the limiter. Yeah. <laughs> so if the character is equal to the splitter. I need to append append hang on hang on hang on uh, don't say don't say and mm -hmm. uh, also I have a um, uh, uh, maybe a component component equals to empty string and okay so I need to con constantly concatenate this guy so uh okay oops so if we be equal to a uh, component plus a character yeah you sub only to buffer, to bufferize until uh you actually find your split and then you exactly append zero, zero, right? uh -huh. yeah and then uh when you actually find a, a proper component uh then you need to uh to reset uh with a uh, yeah yeah so I think you can just uh, use your split function uh, uh, instead of uh, IP dot split, uh, and uh, and if you want to run it, then go and add and test. But I think uh, uh, we, we we yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I actually I know there's maybe some bugs some some here and there. I'm gonna debug my uh, after this session and then. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to waste your time to, to run the test cases. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. But I mean, that's seven, so we actually uh, uh, are on time, so <laughs> well, that was cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, so. I, I, do, do, you, do you spare a few minutes? To, I always, uh, at, at the end, I just have to always talk to my uh, prime friends to uh, share experience and also share oh, yeah, uh, yeah, what's sure. the strategy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so uh, I do have I do have uh, fifteen minutes or even twenty minutes uh, uh, more, so no problem. I can actually stay and talk with you. Uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, I like the fact that you actually uh, uh, first uh, think about the approach uh, and come up with an example oh. before you actually call sorry. it. Call it. Yeah. That's yeah. So great. sorry, not not about this question. I mean, in 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 general, in in programmer life and also oh, things like that. Okay. So. Yeah, I, I, I can start. So I actually working for a, uh, a, a programmer as a, uh, for a bank in Canada. Okay. And uh, yeah, also, uh, I'm not sure if you have any interviews coming up or anything like that. I actually- yeah, I do have one uh, uh, in two weeks. So, uh, so that's why- Oh, really? I'm, I'm actually really, uh, uh, really, really focusing on uh, learn again because uh, uh, I'm, a, uh, let's say, uh, uh i'm not junior anymore uh and i i will not say i'm a senior so i'm actually between between them uh 
and I did a lot of uh, algorithms in the past. I did programming in C, I did programming in Python, I did programming in Go. Uh, but there is a lot of things that I forget and there is a lot of things that I know. Uh, so I need to refresh a little bit my memory. Uh, that's why actually I'm doing those exercises to uh, also uh, find new people and to uh, find new way of thinking uh, doing those, those kind of exercise. Uh, and, but uh, uh, I really need to work on the graph theory and dynamic programming because uh, that's aspect of programming that I don't masterize at all. Uh, so uh, I need to, to crush a little bit. But otherwise, everything that is parsing, tree, array, uh, binary tree, list, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. So uh, what about you? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So my, my, I, I'm working as a uh, programming web website. Okay. Website also yeah Python simulations for banks. Um, yeah, mostly. I mean, the things that I learned from Lico from Prompt, I don't use for my daily job. It's basically for my interviews. And uh, my my main language is Python and also React, uh, also JavaScript actually. Uh, the two main languages. And oh. uh, I yeah I had an interview with uh, Google. Uh, I think almost like, a few weeks ago. But I didn't prepare well. Uh, it bombed me very badly, and uh, that's why I came back to um, uh, Pramp to practice, practice with my friends. Also, I almost make it for the. So that was my uh, second interview with Google. Also, uh, I had almost had an interview with uh, Amazon, but Amazon they hired somebody before my section. Oh, I'm sorry. If yeah, I'm so they. <laughs> That's okay. Um, they they found somebody right before me, and then I didn't have a chance to talk to the uh, hiring and manager. Hopefully, uh, you don't you have a better luck than I do. And also, actually, the recruiter uh put me on a, another session with um the so the first team that they scheduled me on was in Toronto, and they hired somebody. Uh, it's a uh, AWS Amazon Web Services. And then now they put me, I mean, they put me on the, the, uh, the interview with uh, the team in Vancouver. Oh, okay. And yeah, then, awesome. yeah, and then I, uh, again, I'm not so prepared. So that's why I said, please hold on. And I, let me practice a bit more before I come back to the interview. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So uh, I mean, that's the same for me. Uh, so uh, I have an upcoming uh, uh, interview in two weeks with Facebook. Uh, so in Dublin, uh, and uh, and I know that uh, uh, those kind of like type for screening, uh, you really need to prepare to actually be uh, ready, like exactly like athletes, uh, because I know a lot of concept, but I forgot a lot. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I'm not a software engineer. I'm a site reliability engineer, uh, and I'm applying for uh, a production engineer role at Facebook. But production engineers, they also do software engineering programming, but they do have a lot of system background and infrastructure background, and that's my case. So that's why I actually try to compense uh, uh, with the software uh, engineering aspect, uh, and mostly uh, because I'm very weak uh, uh, on graph and dynamic programming, uh, so I'm trying to be better at, at that. So uh, uh, otherwise, I think I'm very confident in any array problem uh, uh, or any uh, um, like uh, uh, greedy uh, algorithm or uh, I used, uh, you mentioned that you were practicing with lead code. I also use lead code uh, and also I used uh, something is called uh, hacker rank. Uh, that was- Oh, hacker uh, rank, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that was another website that I actually used. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think it's very important to prepare and refresh uh, uh, and uh, and also it's very random because sometimes you can actually have uh, an exercise that is actually really easy and straightforward to do and sometimes it's not the case but in any way uh, what is important it's the way that you actually communicate and you actually uh, sync loud uh, with the interviewer uh, uh, I think that's the uh, what they're looking for uh, because at the end, uh, everybody knows to code, so 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 that's not uh, the the coding aspect is not is not the uh, the principal uh, element. I think problem solving is actually way 
more important to them uh, than just people, someone that actually be able to code. So, uh, yeah, I, I have uh, I have uh, two suggestions for you, Sof. And uh, one is uh, I'm not actually using um, Lico Premium. Lico Premium can sort uh, the problems by the companies. So, for example, Facebook they have a, like a top fifty most asked question. So we can filter out all the the most important or most frequently asked question. For example, for graph or for DFS, BFS, and um, and okay. get thirty dollar per per month. I think this is worthwhile. And the second, se what yeah, is the what? Uh, yeah, just a uh, Lico Premium. Oh, Lico Premium. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, is it worth to pay for it? Because I think, uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's my. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've been paying it. So you can see the question by companies. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I, I just using the the free uh the free uh the free version and uh, uh and well I'm happy with the free version but uh or do you pay monthly uh, uh or yeah, you pay you can, uh, yeah you can pay for only one month because given that you Facebook is coming to you like a two weeks two weeks away right yeah yeah I would pay just one month to try and then you can see which problem is important and the, within the important set, you can find a graph problem or the, um, the the problem that you want to practice on. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'll check it out. Yeah. Thank you very much, audience. I think it might be actually very interesting. So uh, at the end, uh, uh, I actually copy past my solution for this problem. Uh, so you'll see, uh, or you could actually uh, uh, write it in a different way that you write it. Uh, so I created, uh, uh, another function which is validate IPv4 and then here I'm actually treating the group and number and verify that actually uh, they are satisfied the, the, the constraint uh, and in validate IP I'm calling validate IP uh, and I'm doing the first check uh, uh, if the number is not uh, uh, is not false so, um, so that's another yeah, way I'm to yeah I'm, I'm seeing it right now and then yeah, thank you so much for sharing your um, solution. Also, one last thing before I let you go, one last suggestion. Uh, I would suggest you to like um, be good at using the interviewer, right? So for me, I cannot solve a lot of questions without the help of interviewer. But if I, with the help of interviewer, I mean, probably you can solve a lot more questions. So ask them, I mean, um, because I, I because when I was your interviewer, I asked you like, how can I help you, right? And then you can ask me like question that. So I, I think another skill that I would develop is to how to use the interviewer to give me more hints and help me out to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think uh, that's part of thinking aloud uh, because thinking aloud allows the interviewer to follow you. Uh, and if you don't do that, uh, then he, he really struggle to follow you, and then. He cannot actually uh, give you hints to uh, to orient you, uh, but uh, I think I'm just gonna. Uh, uh, I need to brush the gra the graph the the graph uh, the graph are with. Uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, as uh, people in infrastructure, uh, we are more like on practical programming than uh, really theoretical yeah. programming. Uh, so that's actually why. But I still want to actually be better at that. Uh, because uh, uh, my uh, uh, I'm very good at system. System is actually my uh, uh, I don't know yeah. if you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, well, actually... I, I want to ask you. So, so what kind of what you you say you are a system engineer? So what kind of system you're building? Like a Linux system or what kind of system? Yeah, Linux and FreeBSD. Actually, I'm an official uh, member of the FreeBSD project. So, uh, uh, so I'm very very into the system. So uh, I'm programming C. I do sometimes assembly. Uh, I can actually do Python as well. I do Bash. Uh, uh, so, uh, but all all my experiences uh, uh, was at actually uh, uh, on Linux uh, and FreeBSD on my free time. So, um, so yeah. So that's why I'm good at system. But now I need to be better at uh, software uh, engineering itself. Uh, and that's actually why I'm doing that. But if you want. Uh, we can actually share our contact, and uh, if you would like to 
actually have another uh, interview with me on Pramp, then we can do that. So uh, RB, RB. Yeah, yeah, RB. yeah, for sure. I, yeah. I, I can show you with my LinkedIn and then you can connect me any time you want. Yeah, yeah, if you want. <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and yeah, so, uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes, but, uh, I'm not in hurry. So, uh, yeah, whenever I'm, you, have, you, whenever you want to, uh, practice prompt, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, with me and then you come back to me. Okay. I don't choose much, uh, LinkedIn, but, uh, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll contact you uh, on, on the platform because I'm on the platform too. So, uh, you know that on Trump, uh, what we can do it's actually uh, to click yeah, share, uh, share the, yeah, the, share the email. email. Yeah, so uh, so yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, maybe maybe next week if, if you if, uh, at, at at the same time like because for me that's six p.m. So I I, I don't know uh, you where are you based in Canada? Is it Toronto? Yeah, right now is yeah uh, yeah I. Right now it's around like a twelve o'clock in, in, in noon time, but we can I mean we can confirm the time the day before and then we can sit down and chat. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, great. Okay. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Best of luck uh, for your interview in uh, in Facebook. If I don't see you again. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, and, and I and I feel the the feedback form for for your interview. So have a good I'm day. Good as well. Yeah, yeah, bye. Good Just luck. Thanks. Thank you. 